All right, this looks a whole lot like yesterday's bell ringer. Um, I wonder if there is a theme. So let's first read the problem. What it says is, what would the value of h be in the expression 8x plus h if it were equivalent to the expression 8 times the quantity x plus 5? So I'm going to highlight the parts that are important. We want to know the value of h in the expression that is 8x plus h when it is equivalent, and we should by now know that equivalent means equal to the expression, whoops, let's change colors, to the expression 8x plus 5. So just like the other day, even if I don't know much or know how to handle it or immediately know how to solve, I can start narrowing down what it might be asking me. Value of h, 8x plus h e equal to expression x, 8 times the quantity x plus 5. So I'm just going to write down 8x plus h equal, because it's equivalent to the expression 8 times the quantity x plus 5. Okay? What does Ms. Vegan always want you to do? They always want you to follow the order of operations. So I have to do my distributive property. So 8 times x plus 5 times x, or 5 times 8, equals 8x plus h. 8x plus 40 equals 8x plus h. And at this point, I should be able to recognize that one side is equal to the other side. So this has an 8x. This has an 8x. So that would mean that the only thing that h could be is what's left here, which is 40. So let's write that down and make that make sense in the math vocabulary. The problem says that expression 8x plus h equals, which means, well, let's not do that, 8 times x plus 5 because they are equivalent. I distributed 8 times the quantity x plus 5, and it became 8x plus 40. Since 8x plus h equals 8x plus 40, h must be 40. Now, I understand that a lot of times most students just want to write down how they did the problem and not use words. The important part about words is the fact that when you are taking your standardized tests and they are asking you to explain, using words and practicing using those words like expression, distributed, equivalent, um, all those mathematical vocabulary will increase your score because you are able to explain. That is a higher level thinking ability. So that is why we continue to have you practice in our classrooms. Um, we know that you know the stuff. We know that you know the material. Sometimes explaining the material is a little bit more difficult if you've not had practice. So this is Bell Ringers number 10. Um, please make sure you have completed it and then attached it to your Google Classroom.